Well, 10 kilograms of improvised explosive device or IED and a hand grenade were recovered during separate counter-insurgency operations conducted in Mikhalia's Garo Hills yesterday. In the first operation conducted at Rechangri village near Dolongre in Garo Hills, two suspected IEDs hidden in a green bag under a pipe culvert were recovered. And one of the IEDs was assembled in a pressure cooker while the other was assembled in a tin paint box. The total weight is expected to be around 10 kgs. Authorities have destroyed both IEDs in situ. Meanwhile, illegal formalities were completed and further investigations are also underway. In a separate incident, West Garo Hills Police recovered one live grenade and six rounds of live 7.62mm ammunition from Dumagitok village, located around 15 kilometers from Tura. In the interest of public safety, police have detonated the grenade at the very spot. And meanwhile, a case has been registered and investigation into the case is underway. The recovery of the explosives comes at a time when former Chief Minister and TMC leader Mukul Sangma had targeted the Conrad Sangma-led MDA government over the issue of internal security in the Hill state. Sangma reiterated that militant movement continues in Meghalaya even as some of the groups are trying to reorganize. And not just this, Sangma also termed illegal mining of coal and other minerals as one of the major sources of funding for these groups. All right, and to give us more details regarding this, I am being joined now over the phone by my colleague from Joai, Biplab Day. Uh, Biplab, first of all, good morning to you and our viewers in Joai. If you can hear me, Biplab, you know, this is indeed a very, very concerning development. One that raises serious questions on the backs of the statements made by TMC leader Mukul Sangma just a couple of days back. So what latest details do you have for us regarding this development, Biplab? Well, uh, good morning, Nurk, and uh, to everyone. Uh, the fact is, uh, these two uh, separate incidents have actually raised an alarm in terms of, uh, you know, the aspect of militancy coming back into Garo Hills. Uh, we are still awaiting, you know, further details from the uh, Superintendent of Police of West Garo Hills, in which, in the district in which these two incidents have occurred. Okay, but uh, there is a, the general thought is that, uh, you know, the groups are definitely trying to reorganize. Whether they be uh, these are old people coming in or whether these are new recruits, we are still not sure, and we will be getting a, a, you know more information on that by the uh, end of the day. All right, Biplab, and uh, you know we've already come to learn that both the grenades have been destroyed by authorities. However, you know, do we have any updates regarding who was the first ones? Who were the first ones on the spot? You know, to actually discover these uh, grenade, these IEDs. You know, actually know for certain that these are IEDs that have been hidden there. Well, uh, to, uh, as of now, the police has been very, uh, you know, the secretive about the whole thing. But what we know, what we come to know is that these uh, both these incidents were actually based on information that the, the police had received from sources, and uh, this uh, this actually led them to you know search uh, an area around these places. And both these both these are very close to Tura. The the area of uh, Dolongri is about 40 kilometers away from Tura, and. Uh, Duma, uh, Duma Agatok is about uh, 15 kilometers away from the town. Now, the, the, we, uh, we, what we know is that uh, these groups are, you know, in and around the area that uh, that surrounds uh, uh, Tikrikala, Bajingdoba, and uh, parts of Dadingri itself. So, the, these are this is where the you know majority of the new groups are actually new. Uh, you know, initially started off with Dakai groups. Now we believe these are criminal gangs that are trying to gather together to form some kind of a, a, an outfit. Right, Biplabde, thank you very much for joining us this morning and bringing us all of those updates.